Hello everyone and welcome to Blue Tango's Game Development Show. Uh, as we've done for the, the past beta episodes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to summarize what we uh, we did during the live show on Twitch uh, for those of you on YouTube because I don't think you want to watch an hour and a half of me just like playing the game to find bugs and stuff like that. Probably better to just get a kind of a summary update. Uh, so that's why I'm doing this the way I'm doing it. If you are interested in actually seeing what we're doing, uh, drop by the live show we do on Twitch TV. Uh, that's Twitch TV slash Blue Tengu. Uh, you can find us there. We we do broadcast every week, uh, Sundays, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Japan, which usually translates to uh, the uh, Saturday afternoons, evenings for those of you in the States, uh, usually like Saturday around midnight for those of you in Europe, and if you're in Australia, you're pretty close to us, which is like Sunday mornings. But uh, what we did, uh, it has been a while because we had internet problems, uh, so about a month and a half we haven't been able to do the show, but we have been doing a lot in the meantime, so this beta episode 2 overtime, these are all the things we kind of got done uh, in the meantime. But uh, you can always find this at Trello. If you look for Trello and Skyring on Google, you should be able to get here. Uh, but that's the list. Uh, with this episode, this was beta episode number three, we played the game uh, from start to finish. We actually did manage to finish it. We found some issues and fixed them. Uh, we found a couple uh, fixed these four things. These are more like tweaks that we did. Uh, so the enemies have a larger chase radius. They're slower, you're faster, and your tail doesn't train. So basically, we made the game easier to play. Should be a lot, a lot more fun now. Uh, some of the other things we did find, we found a total of 12 bugs while we were playing the game, so that was four of them. So the, the other eight are these ones, like, uh, sometimes it's a bug, sometimes it's just a tweak that we need to do. Like, one is uh, enemies being off screen. Uh, if they go off screen, they don't seem to come back on screen, so you're left with situations where you're not really encountering a lot of enemies, especially in the earlier levels. So we need to kind of guide the enemies just a bit to be more closer to the player rather than just kind of wandering off and disappearing. Also, uh, the artifacts that you find in cities when you land, uh, sometimes they come up with an unknown, which means it's not finding something in the list of artifacts that we have. The, the likely cause for that is that uh, if you've already found an artifact, it's probably trying to randomly pick that one and says oh, it doesn't exist and then becomes unknown. That's probably the bug. I think I can fix that. The sandstorm during the desert level, uh, the way the particles work, it covers the ocean, which is what gives you that sense of speed. Uh, so you feel like you're kind of just stuck in the air. Now we need to change that expression a little bit to make sure that it feels like you're flying. Uh, when we beat the game, that that kind of sinister like enemy that chases you once in a while and it does kind of this chanting ooh, ah, ooh, ah, chanting as it's kind of coming after you that ooh, ah, was still going on while we were rolling the credits uh, so that was a problem also in that dead level that final level the music that was playing was the the closing credits music as opposed to the, the proper music so we need to fix that also the volcano tiles this was something we thought we had fixed but we hadn't when we tested it uh, Actually, that's something else. The the lava better tell before the change. The, the the bug that we did find today was that you were taking damage from these like lava tiles even when they were supposed to be inactive. So that should be a pretty fi quick fix. Uh, also, enemies destruction hint. This isn't a bug. This is more of a feature that we need to add. Up until now, if you destroyed an enemy, their their kind of death particles would float off towards the closest uh, place where you should go. The problem with that is if that if that place hasn't been procedurally generated yet, uh, it doesn't know to kind of point you there. So we need, need to kind of make those particles flow towards unexplored areas. But uh, just to show kind of where the game's at right now, just so it's not just me talking about stuff we're doing, I'm going to load it up and just show you where we're at. Okay, should I continue? I think I can continue. Yeah. So like those four issues that we fixed, like uh, the player moves much faster now. You can kind of tell if you can see those ocean particles, but uh, the player moves a lot faster now than they were before. And the enemy tries to chase you a little sooner, and it moves a lot slower. So you have more of a chance of kind of guiding it around and getting a circle around it, as long as it's not at the bottom of the screen like it was there. Uh, even when you take damage, you still have your full like circling tail. So the games should be a lot easier to play now. Uh, we also have uh, one to three gas. Let's see, I should probably get my player's health back again here, if I can do that. Uh, restore power, there we go. 
One to three gas, one of the viewers, who's an artist and a very good one at that, has given us a couple of sprites that we did just kind of throw in. We haven't uh, properly like fixed the animation speeds and some of the other stuff, so not perfect the implementation right now. As you can see by the shadow too, it's kind of off-centered. We still have to fix a few things like that, but it's it's nice to actually see like a decent looking character in the game for a change, as opposed to like this, <laughs> which is what we had before. So improvements, lots of improvements. It's starting to come together. I think we'll still need a few more weeks to kind of get all the bugs out, at least enough bugs where uh, people can start beta testing it. Because right now, eh, it's it's not really in a beta testable state. I think if you don't know what's going on in the game. But we're getting there, we're getting close. In terms of our features and stuff, most of the features are in the game. It's just testing it, fixing bugs, and getting it ready. And uh, also waiting on some of the sprites and stuff so we can put those in. Should all kind of come together at about the right time. But, you know, I'll keep giving updates like I am now. Uh, so that's where we're at. Just uh, look for Trello and Skyring to see what we're at. Or you can look at, uh, you can look up our site bluetango.com to see what we're up to, or you can check out uh, Twitter, uh, btengu, b-t-e-n-g-u, to kind of get updates on what we're doing. That's probably the place where I'm most active. But that's been an update for you. Uh, those of you following us on YouTube, hope to see you during the live show. Come drop by and see it. See you next time.